Welcome everybody, I'm J. Hart Ellis, and we are starting into our 2020 challenge for the Elder Scrolls Online. This is a housing contest. The goal here was to take 20 of one furnishing and 20 of another furnishing, 40 items total, and just make something creative out of it. So you can do amazing things with a housing editor. You can use furnishings in fun and creative ways. And what we're going to go do is we had 13 entries for this between PCEU and PCNA, and we're going to go and look at these entries, see what people could do with 20 and 20 furnishings. It's one of those things that kind of makes you think, well, how do I repurpose this furnishing? Do something different with it. And because you can do that, you can like change the orientation on things, the angles, sink things into the ground. You can overlap things with the housing editor. And so you can you can make creations that maybe you wouldn't really have otherwise thought of. So this will be an opportunity to get some decoration inspiration and enjoy what people have created here. So here we go, here we go. We're going to DJ Frida's Grand Cedric Villa. They said that their creation was at the end of the hall in the villa. So here, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Sorry, it says DJ Cedric Villa is very nice. Uh, oh, it looks fun. It looks fun. But their contest entry is just here. We'll just focus on the contest entries instead of throwing everything. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. It's like the whole thing. What, wait, wait, wait. So is their entry th just this one thing? Is that 20 items? Or is it everything here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it must just be this one thing here then. Is it just this one thing here? It must be that, or is it actually through here? They've kind of done things differently. Uh-oh, <laughs> I'm a little... I would think the one thing, the one thing. Okay, just the one thing. So it seems like, well, they kind of... The interesting thing about this is that, th okay, so this is going to be their contest entry, just this right here, with the, their two furnishings must have been these Alnor archways, as well as the Moonlit Cove vines, so the, the vines and the, and the archway there, so... <laughs> Never always says, do you guys not tell... There's another light in the middle. Well, I did say one thing, which was, as far as you could add subtle lighting to to the to the contest entry. So that was one uh, kind of little caveat with the with the rules is you could kind of have things in the background or add some subtle lighting as long as the light source itself wasn't visible. So I can actually see here the light source is visible with the blue crystals, but here it's actually not visible. You can just see the light. So uh, the cool thing about this is I don't know if Sorry, he's actually went about this this way, but what Sari's did was maybe got some inspiration from this contest already, which was they made this creation and then they liked the theme of it well enough that they went ahead and kind of copied, copied the design elements kind of around here and kind of used that as his architectural style. So even back here, kind of copying, just using lots of those archways. So that's kind of cool that you know, you make one thing, you spend some time and effort and mental energy coming up with a fun creation like that, and you like it well enough that you decide to kind of spread it around the rest of your the rest of your build. Okay, so this looks this looks nice. So what ends up working out really well here is kind of the symmetry of things. So you can use, especially if you're using some a tool like a central housing tool add-on, you can create things in kind of like a radial pattern this way so you can get this kind of flower effect. I don't know if, um, if I don't know if DJ necessarily used the central housing tools for that, but they very well might have. Um, maybe not, maybe not, but it makes it easier, makes it easier. So just a really good bright lit up natural marble look to this so it looks good it looks good it's beautiful and hb Vern with follow thank you thank you welcome welcome to our 2020 challenge contest entry tours it's a good one i like the i like the flowery look of it 
makes it look very ornate. It's a great flower. It looks a good flower. Okay. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, TJ. And we'll continue along. Now, it was totally up to the entrance as far as which two furnishings they could choose. And there are literally thousands of different furnishings. So thousands times thousands is millions of potential combinations just between the two furnishings. And then you can orient those, arrange those in any way that you wanted to. So okay, it's infinite possibilities as far as what to expect from this contest. So we'll see what else people come up with. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Anna Tara, thank you so much with that gifted sub. Hi. <laughs> Big hype. We do have emote wall for Twitch chat during the stream. If you want to join our live uh, live stream, you can join join me at twitch.tv slash jharellis. We do lots of housing tours and contests and other good stuff at the Twitch channel. Okay, so up next we have Alondria's Grand Cedric Villa. I believe, I believe, I see. <laughs> see? I see the two furnishings. So here we have interesting way of framing this. Okay, so here are the two furnishings. We have the Daedric Skull Throne, which is a good one because it was actually mistakenly free on the luxury vendor one week, so it's a good choice. Yeah, I, I always like to see what people can do with some of the more cheap furnishings. And then we have these uh, limestone pebbles from the Somerset Home Goods Furniture. So uh, those are only 100 gold each. So Alondria making something kind of fun here with a viewing platform. Uh, you can come s and sit here. It nearly looks like a fountain, especially with the waterfall in the background. Kind of like maybe like water shooting out with the pebble stream. Maybe like a fun interactive thing. You go stand in the middle of it, get splashed around in it. And I think it looks, uh, looks like a fun thing to do. And framing the base of this really well with these thrones definitely looks more like a like just a good like structural basin here um instead of thrones so it's definitely repurposing those in a fun way and you get the really nice textures on the side here so i think they did add some subtle lighting down into there which was perfectly fine so we have well, I, i'm assuming it's some sort of like a fountain I'll use my use your imagination on that. Could be like a fancy flower box. Could do that too. I actually I, I really like the base here because you could use something like this, this kind of like a, a nice base, and you could use that like a, as a planter or something too. I imagine that there are various ways of of making a good shape like that, and then you can fill it with with water or flowers or. Make it into like a ritual thing. <laughs> it's a cool sculpture. Yeah, it's nice looking. It's nice looking. You know, like, or it could be like a portal. Little tendrils growing out of this. Maybe it's a summoning portal. Maybe it's some sort of ethereal monster that's coming out of here. Whatever, whatever you want to use your imagination for. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, <laughs> Lavathi likes all the emotes. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so we have a fun, very active sculpture. Everything coming out of this is very festive. Reminds me of, like, confetti it's coming out. Okay, thank you, Alondria. These will probably these will be relatively quick to go and visit. Okay, we're going to go to Lavathi's up next. Serenity Falls. Oh, by the way, we do have big prizes for... Top six entries for this, and there are only 13 entries, so half the people are going to win. Um, we'll win 20, 20 hundred gold each. So, 202k. Um, <laughs> so, more than a million imp imp prizes on the line for this as well. So, all the more reason to enter some of our contests here. Okay, Lavathi, Serenity Falls. Lavathi had... I'm stuck. Wait, I'm... I'm stuck? <laughs> Where do I go? You you have a cow enclosure. It's beautiful. No, can I get out of here? Uh-oh. <laughs> Is this it? 
Is this just 20 walls? I'll s no escape. Am I supposed to look up? Look up? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, uh, is that exactly? It better be exactly 20. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, there's only one way out. It's up. Up and up and up. Uh, it's beautiful. So this is the amazing things that you can do with with um, furnishings. Is that you can you know orient things. You can write out letters in the sky. Uh, is that twenty? One, two, three, six. Uh, I'm assuming it's exactly twenty and twenty. Okay, so is nice lettering, right? We'd actually been talk. We talked about this. We talked about two things with this. Incidentally, during um, I had a good big four hour stream uh, yesterday about potential issues uh, within within housing and some solutions for those. And one of those was talking about item li limits. And there are ways to go about increasing item caps that won't be a big hit on performance. And we talked about those. And we talked about being able to place things with precision, which would be very difficult, like actually placing these letters with precision. Unless if you're using add-ons, that could be difficult. Levothi might not have used add-ons for this, but it's it's tricky. So I actually like this. So you're using the curved elsewhere walls and the straight elsewhere walls to make the various straight and curvy letters. It's going to be embarrassing if I end up making this one of the winners and put it on Twitter. Maybe Zoss will retweet it, like they have on some of our, our previous contests. Um... I don't know if they'd retreat this one. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, now I understand why you said this one. I thought you just meant that it might not be high quality. No, it's good. It's good. Controversial. Let's, uh, thank you, Levathi. It's good. I appreciate the lettering. It's very bright here. It helps being able to read it. Okay, we're going to go to Hichiko-chan's up next. Important messages in the sky. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, the intentional wall. So I'm like, what? How do I get out of here? And it's like, oh, okay, it forces me to look up, right? Okay, we're gonna go to Hachiko Chan's up next. Hachiko Chan had a bit of a blurb for me. Uh, Hachiko Chan said. Okay, we're getting into their Captain Marcos. He said, I always dream to become a mom, and I hope one day me and my husband will hear that little voice running around the house and calling for us. But for the moment, I will keep thinking about his, her baby room with all my heart. Oh, so Hachiko-chan has made a dollhouse, a dollhouse to be a mom vicariously. Let's see what this is like. Oh, that's like super cute. Wait, wait, wait. I have all sorts of super cute things here. So it's so this is kind of framing it a little bit. So we do have fun things. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I'll, I'll take in everything that's here in the meantime. Just I could have a cute rattle. Oh, that's super cute. I worry about the pokey bits on the end there. <laughs> it looks it looks cute. Okay, so oh, I love a cheek chan, a chico chan. Was the one that made the um, during our Have a Heart contest made the amazing romantic boat ride. Uh, it was super cute. So just different things here, just kind of framing this. It's like a like a child's bedroom. Oh, 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 everything. I love the details here. Like it's difficult to make a semi-modern kids room given the very old style of furnishings that we have to work with so that's where being creative with things that is so creepy but kind of huggable that's about what i expect from kids toys a little bit of creepiness but it's with the sweet roll feet oh it even has sweet roll feet see like if you were like this tall that, that bear would be terrifying right <laughs> Okay, so okay, we're getting to the twenty twenty entry. I just I'm just taking in everything else here because it's super cute. There's nothing in these, is there? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Here's a dollhouse. Here's a twenty twenty entry. So it is using. It's just a little dollhouse. 
kind of get up, down on its level. Here's a dollhouse. It is using 20 of the Eleanor jewelry boxes and 20 of these little, I want to say, elsewhere sconces for the white marble down there. So ends up working well because what the, the sconces do, they kind of add a little bit like a white wall all around the, the house here. And then the, the jewelry boxes themselves are basically the, um, the, the house structure. Can you, I, I want to look if there's anything down in the middle of it. Oh, no, I can't get on top of it, though. <laughs> Why is it so slippery? I, I, I nearly, like, see details down in it. Wait, I, maybe I can get where the cat is. Cat cat has a good view of it. Cat, come here. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I can see down into the dollhouse a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Secrets. Secrets in there? Okay, so... Oh, I'm on that. I'm on that. Secrets within the dollhouse. Can't quite tell. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe there's nothing in there. So we do have a dollhouse. A dollhouse. That's cute. So going small on this one. Using two very small furnishings. Using 20 of each of those. And coming up with something creative. And very detailed. Because... The way that this child's bedroom is set up is... I'm sneaking through the child's bedroom. It's kind of creepy. Um, is it's a pretty elaborate, kind of like, you know, a spoiled, a spoiled kid. And they have a really, really fancy dollhouse here. No secrets, just love. It's a doll fortress. It's more like a little doll mansion. Probably turrets on it somewhere. <laughs> Ends up looking like doors. Oh yeah, the, the way that this is framed here is like the wall ends here and then you have the end of this just looks like big doors. That's, that's good details on that. Okay, thank you, Hichiko-chan. Love, love this uh, chair here too. Oh, let's just, I'm gonna get a big, maybe wider screenshot here as well just to maybe contextualize this a little bit. If I can get a picture of the little Moppets. Oh no, maybe I come back. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Okay, fun stuff, fun stuff. Thank you, Hajiko chan And then that's it for PCEU. We had four entries for PCEU. I'm gonna hop over to PCNA and we have nine more entries on PCNA. Now, okay, hopping over, hopping over. Now, see, that was Captain Margot's house. Amazing that you could put so much detail on that. Somebody says, oh, he sent me visual. I hadn't had those before. So a couple people on PC and A do have visual effects. We'll see how those augment the build. Their shark says, look like a crafty person's place. Yeah, it's it's fun stuff. A lot of love went into that. Okay, hopping over to PCNA. Nine more entries to go and tour. What do you do with 20 of one furnishing and 20 of another furnishing? And a lot of this is thinking about using furnishings, you know, next to each other. You know, maybe, maybe you make some sort of geometric shape with them or... Just lots of different ways of using furnishings, a lot of furnishings. And it's not just about gathering up 700 different items and putting those in the house. It's oftentimes, well, maybe you have a whole bunch of one furnishing and you kind of use that as a, a theme throughout your home. So I think it's important to think of different ways of using furnishings other than just kind of plucking them down, just kind of as they're meant to be used. Okay. Oh, Ridlock talking about visiting their house. I do a weekly housing tour, my weekly housing hike on Fridays. I do tours for PCEU at 1 p.m. Eastern Time and NA at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. If you ever want to send me a mail about your houses on PC, let me know. Send me a mail in-game at J.H.R. Ellis. Okay, we're going to go to... Well, you sent me, you sent me visual effects, he said. Let me go get those, got those. Lotus, I still don't have your uh, visual effects. 
Okay, I'm hopping over. Maybe mail them to me. Hopping over the Stabity Dooms. Stabby Doom was one of our big winners for our Have a Heart contest as well. Made a huge box of chocolates in the sky. It was, it was fun to kind of try to figure out what the different flavors of the chocolates were. Hype more? Yeah, we need more hype. Feel welcome to put hype in the chat, Twitch chat. Lotus, if you could just try to mail those to me, that would probably be easiest. Moo. <laughs> it's me. It's an NPC with visual effects. You must be as tall as me to ride the slide. Go to the top of the tower and enjoy. As tall... Oh no, there's a slight problem. I think I'm as tall as me, right? I'm exactly as tall as me. I think that works. Uh, the NPC looks a little taller than me, though. Oh no. <laughs> it must be exactly, exactly as tall. I guess I'm exactly as tall as myself, so I'm the only person that would be, I suppose. Okay, so there's a ride. Oh, wait, is it, is it like a... I just go up... Oh, this is fun, this is fun. I see what Stabity has done here. We have a water slide. We have a water slide. It looks like I have to go into the home to get there, right? Giant water slide. Oh, this is fun. So we have... Very long water slide if, if Stabity is using 20 of these. So... From the looks of it, it looks like she was using the waterfalls, everlasting waterfalls, and the orcish tents. Can I get to it from here? Wait, I don't see it. Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, this is fun, this is fun. Wow. You weren't joking when you said you dropped a lot of coin on this. This is the um, the small everlasting waterfall. It's from the, from the Somerset Achievement Furniture. You have to do a lot of quests for it, and then... For the divine prosecution, and then they're like seventy-five thousand gold each, but they're fun because they have water. And then we have, we do have. So this is it. This is the water. You can add amazing water, water to your houses using this uh, achievement furnishing. And then we have the orcish slide. Now the interesting thing about these orcish tents is that they are slippery. They're kind of curved like this, and if you stand on them, you just slide off like. The collision isn't such that you just stay on top of it, like lots of slide off. So, and then it looks like Stabity added the little visual effect target at the end. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can't get down there without. <laughs> it's, it's a little, it's a little steep here. I hope I don't slide off. Just like land in the rocks. Let's let's go. Ah ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oof. Oh, whoa. What the heck? That was weird. <laughs> uh, what is going on with the waterfall there? This is base game problem, isn't it? <laughs> it's trippy. It's trippy because you can see through the waterfall. You can see the, the water kind of gets rid of the foggy effect from the glass behind it. That's so weird. Makes it a little bit more magical. I broke the game. Why did it go backwards? That was so weird. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. Because I didn't do the camera quite well. Do it in first person. Yeah, I'll do it in first person. That'll be a bit more fun. Okay, one more one more go. One more go at it. So, I have a slide. A slide. Did you actually... Did you add a portal? It'd be kind of fun if you added a portal that kind of por portaled you back up to the top. I think that the portal system from Essential... You can actually program in a portal with Essential Housing Tools, but I think it only ever portals you back to the beginning. Yeah, you didn't put a portal in. <laughs> okay, well, let's do this again. Oh no, without falling. Without falling. Without falling. Without falling. Whoa, I did it again. The heck? I can hear my little scampering feet. It's so weird. It's super buggy, apparently. <laughs> well, that's fun because you get like an extra 25% length because apparently it bugs and threw me back in time. Yeah, have a slide party. Yeah, oh, Stabity, is your house open? It's fun. It never did it to you. Stabity says it's an open house. So if you want to go over to Stabity, Stabity Doom... Enchanted Snow Globe Home on PCNA, you can uh, go slide across this. Apparently, apparently the system doesn't like you sliding down so many simultaneously. So, it's fun. It's a little buggy. 
get, you get to go too fast. Go back to the time. That's right. Is it Featherfall? Um, I don't think I even have that on. Maybe it. Maybe it's that. Master Merchant or um, Magic Carpet. Magic Carpet. Uh, I don't even have Magic Carpet on, so no. Clever, clever. That's <laughs> fun. It's fun. Okay. I'm sliding too fast. It's a little dangerous. The giant water slide by Stabity Doom. You have to be this tall, to, uh, this tall though. So if, if you're not as tall as me, then you can't ride. Or if you're taller than me, then you can't ride. So just just a warning. <laughs> and now Tara says it did it for me, and I loved it. <laughs> okay, fun, fun. Okay, so giant water slide. So it's using twenty of each of these furnishings. Fun idea, fun idea. I like the slipperiness of it. It'd be nice if it just portaled you back up to the beginning. Okay, we'll continue along here. We'll go to Everelia's. Enchanted Snow Globe Home as well. Probably has something entirely different. I would imagine so. Okay, there is a... I'll go down the dock ramp and look for a thingy. I'll look for a thingy. No, Stephanie, you're fine. It's fun that it bugged. <laughs> it's actually more fun that it's super weird. Okay, here we go. Everelia has something different. Something... Not a water slide. Oh, what did Everelia do? Okay, down the ramp. I think I had maybe previously toured Everelia's home on a housing hike before. I think that there is something off in the distance. Ah, here is Everelia's build. We have a cabin, a cabin in the, in the snow. That's fun, that's fun. So it's using the the planks here and just these little little boulders. The, the blocks here. Can I go inside it? Oh, I can't go inside it. <laughs> I want to go inside it. It probably looks like a mess inside because all of the all the blocks would be kind of poking into it. So there we go. We have a cabin. A cabin. With like a porch here too. Oh, that's cute. Maybe... Maybe this is a better angle for it so you can actually see the trees and stuff in the background. A cabin with a chimney. I think you added some little insets. That's fine. <laughs> that's super cute. That's super cute. Did this require 20 of the, uh, 20 of these walls? I really think that you could have got away with even fewer. Maybe it's about that, though. Four, four per side would be about, about 20. And then the blocks are on the corner. Oh, plus down here. Yep, that would do it. It did, it did, it did take 20. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So 20 of, so it's like an ice, ice fishing. Oh, ice, it's like a, more like an ice fishing shack. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, the ground and the roof. So it's making a, an entire building here. I love the the chimney here. That actually adds a lot of character to this. It's nice, nice straight rectangular chimney there. You have kind of mock windows. Kind of using your imagination with that, or the, the door here. It's really fun, and it's just very well crafted too. Everything's very angular, very practical like you would want from an ice fishing shack. You don't want it to have any big structural problems. <laughs> Franca says, I'm in Canada. These are all over. Okay, cool, cool. So we have, have an ice fishing shack. So stay warm. Catch some fish, hopefully. Even in the even in the dead of winter. That's fun. That's, that's cute. It's, yeah, it's a nice cozy kind of cabin too. Good choice, good choice on this. Ever always says he put Yeah, I, I saw that. I got the trees there. I like it, I like it. I wanna go in and warm up. I feel cold out here. <laughs> like I'm missing out on the warmth inside. Okay, thank you, Everolia. And we'll continue along with our 2020 challenge. What do you do with 20 of one furnishing, 20 of another? We're gonna go to Elephonics. Cold Harbor Surreal Estate up next. 
Hopefully. No. Standing in the water is not doing me any favors. Let's try this again. Great Gemini with the trout. That's right, we have all the trout. Spam up the trout there. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, let me in. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Oh, we do have fish over here. That makes sense. There's a, there's our trout. It's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> One of our fun emotes. Uh, added because of fun things on Spicy Island. Kind of miss. I kind of miss the homestead launch days when everybody was trying to figure out weird ways of using the furnishings that had just been added. <laughs> okay, what is this? It's. Elephonic. Um, stand behind the orb. The orb. Why do I have a feeling that this has all been, um... <laughs> I see something. Where's where's the orb? Hi, Elephonic. Why, why, why do I have a feeling I know what this is going to be? I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. Just a slight, just a slight, a slight feeling. Oh, that's not what I thought it was going to be. I, th I thought Lavathi might have coordinated something. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to say something else. J Heart rocks. Oh. Yeah! I can read it. This is important. Aww. Somebody says yes, he does. Aww. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to appeal to, uh... Appeal to the judge here. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely a winner here. Diff oh, wow. This is, like, three-dimensional. I nearly saw the word caps here, like, from the side. Like, right right here. It kind of looks like cap. You see that, right? You see cap. I thought it was going to say something else. I thought it was going to say something else when I got closer. Maybe it says something else from the other way. Oh, maybe go the around the other way and it says, like, like something awful. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe go... It's one of those things that reads a different way. It's in a different orientation. Ooh. What did you sneak in? Secret message here, right? <laughs> it's quite a mess. At some angle, at some angle, it says something else. Secret subliminal message here. Okay, so what did you use? You use these, just the, the wooden, wooden sticks here and the wedding blossoms. Wedding blossoms are fun. They're weirdly not bright at all from behind. I don't really ever use, see people use the bottoms of these. I guess that would be kind of weird, though. If you just want more of the blue color than the bright color. Okay, it's, I don't know, still looking for that subliminal message. Something. Maybe lining it up. Lining it up. <laughs> okay. All right, well, it seems like it's just one message. There is only one message, and that is that J Heart rocks. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so lining these up. It's kind of fun that it only really works from one angle because everything is, like, very spread out. In, in this dimension. <laughs> this spell, I was wondering if it said, like, J-Heart sucks from the other side. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, it's fine, it's fine. J-Heart rocks, thank you, thank you. Gonna be, gonna be hard to not be biased for this one. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Okay, good job, good job. I like all the, all the, uh, the birds flying around too. Okay, thank you, Elephonic. <laughs> okay, and continuing along. We're rocking it. We're rocking it. Okay, next up we're going to Kalaleo's. Kalaleo's Hundings. I took a chance says this contest is turning me crazy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what, what's uh, what's crazy crazying about it? Hey, good to see a noodle loser. Okay, Kalaleo has something in here in the Hundings. Okay, looking for I okay, see what they use. I need to find where it is, though. Is it through here? It's 
Not this. This isn't it. Ooh, this is like a fun three-dimensional maze of some sort. That's cool. I don't think it's here. I would guess it's back around somewhere. Let's try to find it. Looking with something with pirate banners. There it is. It's a it's like a boat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so <laughs> looks like there might be a viewing platform there. So here is maybe I can just get here. Here is Kalaleo's entry. Oh, this is cool. It's a boat. It's a boat using pirate banners. Got a nice canopy dome on this. And alien benches so that you can actually like because you can't actually sit down here. And floating in a boat. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Oh, I'm getting slaughter fished. Oh no, oh no. Oh, you have like all sorts of other fun stuff here too. Oh wait, you have like no another boat here too. <laughs> it's like you had other ideas. Just just in case. That's cool. Or maybe Kalaleo had built this boat and then just kind of t tweaked the design on it to get it to be like a contest entry. Yeah, this is a, this is a 2020 challenge tours. Okay, so we have boat. Boat. I think I get a good screenshot of this. Maybe. I'm glad I can actually stand in it. Fun boat. I like all the banners kind of down below too. So it does have the, like this platform up here. It makes me wonder if I can get a good angle, screenshot angle on that from up here. It looks like a jumping challenge. We had a jumping challenge contest last last month. I don't think Kalaleo entered that. Oh, can I even make this first jump? I don't know if I can make that first jump. Uh-oh, I don't think I can. It's too high up. Anyway, boat's here, boat is here. Okay, a boat, a boat, using pirate banners and alien benches. Getting a lot of good details on that. I'm, I'm impressed that that's actually only the two furnishings. Because at least with the benches, it's orienting them in a way so you kind of have the structure of the boat, plus seating inside. Or even have, like, like here's where the, the, the boat driver would be with a little offset control system here. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> pirate... Pirate boat. Okay, really fun from Kalaleo. 20 benches, 20 banners coming up with something creative. Oh, wait, wait. Lotus, Lotus. I... Oh, there, there's your visual effects. Perfect. I'll get those and then we'll get in there. That's a lot of visual effects. How did you put so many visual effects into this one simple contest? <laughs> it's fine. It's only 79. Maybe they're not all part of the contest. Okay, here we go, here we go. Continuing along. Well, Tissier 27's Moongrave Fane will have something. We'll have something. <laughs> you have to be this tall to go to Lotus's house. <laughs> That's right. Getting in here. I think Lotus has some other entries in the other wings. Oh, Lotus is here. Thank you for getting the visual effects to me. I appreciate that. Okay. We can't use this collectible. What does that mean? I think it's over in the uh, library. I see what you did with the visual effects. You use those to fill, fill in all the books. That's like a lot of little books that you've added. Okay, so what, what are the two furnishings? We have knives and thrones. I see. Okay, so we have. Oh, that's cool. It's like a it's like a lotus blossom, here in the middle using those knives. So that's cool. So not only we have that we have the knives in the table and then kind of like the the nice flower there. <laughs> you don't want to dance on that table. Yeah, that would be. Whoa, what the? Oh, that's from the visual effects up above. <laughs> it's a little trippy. It's a little slippery. Slip right into those knives. Okay, so we have a fun table. So I, I actually really love the table here too. So it's using these thrones. These are these are the thrones, the Daedric skull thrones, and then orienting them in again like in a 
angling them down this way and then circling them around so that you got a fun table design. I imagine you could do that with a lot of different types of flat furnishings so that you get a fun look on that. And then a fun flower in the middle as well. Flower with knives for petals. <laughs> Economic too. Yeah, again, it's using some of those thrones. These were free from the luxury vendor a year and a half ago or so. Um, so those are still really cheap on the guild traders, and these knives are super cheap. They're like a like a hundred gold each to craft, so it works. A song of Knives and Thrones. <laughs> Assassin's Table. Yeah, I imagine you sit here and you plot things, right? Maybe maybe each of the the council here has to put their knife into the table to represent. DeKrell says, I would never guess what the table was without seeing the chairs around it. Yeah, it's a fun repurposing of this. It's really clever to make that that flower out uh, of the ni knife blades too. Yeah, there's a, there is a purple glow in in there. I, I said people could add some subtle lighting, uh, so there's a crystal in there. That's fine. Not really visible. <laughs> Stabity is like everyone goes economical economical, and I'm all duh. Let me go drop two million gold on this. Yeah, Stabity went with all the everlasting waterfalls. Super expensive to buy all those, but I have them, and you can use them in your other builds too or just keep that fun water slide up okay fun 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 table i don't want to dance on it i kind of want to dance on it can i dance on on the flower itself basically basically it's stabby <laughs> fun fun i don't know it's a little dangerous a little dangerous Oh, we even have a clock back here. That's cool, using visual effects. Okay, and we'll keep moving along. Just a few left. And then we're going to do some big prize drawings for Twitch chat, by the way. <laughs> it's the cash flow. <laughs> That's right. Okay, going to Alnivore's. Alnivore's Exercise Cabin Cottage. They say it's inside the cottage. And they said they were hoping for a giggle. That's about all I hope for from from sometimes, right? <laughs> Just something, something to tick, tickle, yeah. So what I what I like is the creative things that people can do. I think I heard jesters coffers. Why do I have? I think I, I maybe they're jesters coffers. They are jesters coffers. It's ivory and jester's coffers. I think this might. I think this is a. It nearly has horns. I would nearly say that it's supposed to represent me because these are two of my favorite furnishings. But it kind of looks like a dragon with like the back here. But I think it's supposed to be me with with the horns. Open all of them. Yeah, I I, I am. I am uh, contractually obligated to open all of these and see if there's anything hidden inside of them. Opening up my shoes here. I think it, I think it's supposed to be me. Only problem is I might not be able to close these again. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's going to be anything in there. It's so creepy. <laughs> so we have we have me. See you can see see the resemblance. I think a little bit. I'm not so sure. <laughs> so I love the Jester's Coffers because he, he can hide them in things. It's, yeah, it's a long lost brother. I'll regret it if I don't open them all. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> Take a picture and frame it. Oh, there's some. Those are some long horns. So maybe it's a long horn cousin. Long horn cousin have the ears nice big nice big smile the eyes i like how the ivory itself kind of has something or kind of like a little circle in there that nearly looks like pupils <laughs> opening cow's feet that's right <laughs> so fun it's fun so that was from all 
open for a giggle. I got a giggle. 20 crate opening. That's, <laughs> that's all right. Opening, opening crates. These are the only ones I can afford. So, this is kind of plunked here. It's a little, a little lonely. I'm, I'm glad I'm here to keep, keep myself company for a minute. I mean, it's a slightly better angle. There we go. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> With all the moves, all the moves. The curl says, apart from their size and shape as building blocks, I think Jester's cover for Jehur is a great choice. I see what you did there. Yes, I know. I'm I. I love them. I love them. They're fun. So a good getting good detail out of these kind of weird kind of furnishings too. So good use of those. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver. Chester's coffers in any J Heart stream is cheating. That's probably true. Now I I like them. They're fun. I, they're only not fun when you don't hide things in them. Okay, going off to Waverly's up next. Waverly has ooh <laughs> something I am not ill. Uh, something I am ill ready for. No, come on, Waverly. Come on, Waverly. Let me in. Fun contest. Yeah, a lot of fun takes on it. Fun factor is actually an important aspect as far as the judging is concerned. Just, just so you know. Creativity and build polish and fun factor. Fun factor is important. It'll be hard to choose winners. It always is. It always is. Okay, Waverly has a... Well, I won't spoil it. Well, well, they sent me a little bit of information about it, but I won't spoil it. Let's go. Let's go discover this. I'm not ready for it. I'll just say that. I'm scared. I'm a little scared of what Waverly has done. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. No, oh, no. You can see. Wow. It's so intricate. Okay, so. Waverly has made a maze. This is just using 40 furnishings, too. It's, so it's 20 of the elsewhere curved walls and 20 of the just straight walls. So the goal here is to get to the palm tree in the middle. We'll go ahead and go in first person mode. Where do you think? Left or right? Left or right? I'll go... I'll go left first. I'll go left first. Maybe this will be the way... So just using even 40 furnishings, you can make something like a maze. I'm going to... Dead end. It's gonna kind of stumble about. I mean, it can't be that long. Oh no, I got all turned around already. Oh no, oh no, lost. I'm lost. Where's my palm tree? I'm supposed to. I can't even see the palm tree. Where am I supposed to get to? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, let me out. Claustrophobia. <laughs> I, I got lost in a simple maze like this. It's fine. I'll, I'll find. I'll find my way out. Fine. Just kind of try to look up. Wait, there's a tree. There's a tree. That's what I'm supposed to get to, right? The tree is there. The tree is there. Wait, there's a coffer. Hidden co Wait, you hid. That's cheating. <laughs> no, I got to it. I got to it. I got to it. That is it. Okay, we, we got to the middle. And then... You did a nice courteous thing for me, which was to actually... Make it so you could get up. Did it actually dead end the other way? Or did both ways... Lead... Looks like there was actually ways to get to the middle from both sides, which is nice. That was nice of you. <laughs> so that's fun. And then there's a prize here, a little bit of a prize. We'll let it slide. Chester's coffer. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. So that's actually really cool. I like this, like the symmetry of the maze, because then it's just a matter of how you kind of put some of the particularly. Um, some, some some of the walls that are actually just going to block your way out. Getting creative with that. So, we have a maze. It's so big, I can't fit it all in a screenshot here. I'll have to, I'll have to do... Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it's empty. Oh no, they're toying with me, that's right. Yeah, I, I like the angles of it. it. It gives a really fun 
geometric type of a pattern to it. Kind of reminds me of like like Celtic knots, like like the the rope knots. It's very very design oriented and fun. Somebody got to it first. Oh no! Somebody beat me here. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I like an emblem, or like a like a tap or something. <laughs> okay, that was fun. That was actually really fun. Thank you, Waverly. And not you know being only twenty of one furnishing and twenty of another, it wasn't super overwhelming either. So it definitely seemed doable, which was why I was just stumbling through there. Okay. Just a couple more homes. We have Skull Lord up next. Should I be scared? Skull Lord is always full of surprises. I love Skull Lord's build style, though. Just using two furnishings makes it tough, though, because he, you know you might be missing out on detail for certain things. So you kind of have to think about how you're angling things to try to do that and then when you're looking at something you often have to use your imagination oh this is cool <laughs> it's a big like grandfather clock so it's using 20 of these columns and 20 of these platings and making it wide enough that you can sink in some of the details here so i i, I see why this structure is built out here is because the columns are so long <laughs> that that's how you get the circular angle here so that's really creative so it, it, again it's just using things in a different way you even have the pendulum here swinging back and forth so you're using just the edge of the plating to get the the string there and and the pendulum down below and then the clock face super creative <laughs> this has been really difficult to try to figure out how to do this, too. Instant Karma says that's clever. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, with some big items, too. Big items. And then you just get a really nice texture along here or along the front. wonder what the thought process on something like this is. How do you choose the two furnishings and then... How, how do you go about figuring out the details that you can actually accomplish with those? That's fun. <laughs> the world is inspired. They wish they could uh, inspire. They wish they could leave work and go build. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Okay, really fun. Big, big grandfather clock. From the Skull Lord. It's so tall. Look how tall it is. Taller than me. So they could not ride Stabity Doom's water slide, unfortunately. Sorry, Grandpa. Let's uh, keep moving along. Okay, moving on to. Uh oh. Moving on to Greek Gemini. Greek Gemini. I'm hitting all the wrong hotkeys. Great Gemini's Moon Sugar Meadow will be the last one, and then we're going to do a big prize drawing. <laughs> I'm too short to write the clock. Uh, oh no. Everybody says, I looked at all the furnishings I owned to see which ones I had roughly 20 of already, and then focused on a second furnishing I could buy or make easily that could go, go with it. That works, that works. Elfonic says, I did a whole lot of time. Oh, I didn't have a whole lot of time. For any of the contests this month, so I also made something based on what I had on hand already. I was half I was half expecting twenty Kograntids. I really was. Though you can't wait, they're a special furnishing. You can't even do that, can you? Are they special? I thought they were special. You can only have ten at max. We have a shooting star. We have Greek Gemini. Greek Gemini arrow goes this way. Is it this? That's not twenty of the same furnishing. Oh, I see. This is this is a. Uh, I see. Greek Gemini has previously entered a lot of our other contests. So this was our build, make a dragon contest entry. That was our spaceship contest entry. We have 
And then we have something over this way. What is over this way? Oh, there's a follow. A follow from Dribby. Dribby. Thank you for the follow. Is it birds? Is it birds and painted rocks? Or are we still just leading to this? Oh, I like the bird. It's like a fountain. Oh, it's super cute. It looks like it's having fun with the fountain instead of being dead and taxidermied. See, that's the fun and creative things that you can do with housing. Just based off of how you position things. Okay, well, I think I think the entry is actually over this way. Here's the entry. It's a... It's so happy. <laughs> it's like... It's like... The amazing rainbow colors here. With the clouds, the big puffy clouds. Okay, this is super creative. I'm, I've always been a big fan of these. So, okay, two, the two furnishings. These are the Hallelu salt lamps. And the salt lamps, the tr tr tricky little thing Greek Gemini did with that is the salt lamps. Hey, cheating here. No, it's fine, it's fine. The salt lamps can be toggled between three different colors. So they can be they can be red or green or blue. And so you kind of, you know, toggle those to be the different colors and you get a rainbow effect. Um, clever, making good use of the, the item limits for the challenge here. And then using these Merkmeyer shell braziers, they have, you'll set from the other side. It's just the shell braziers there. You know what, it looks kind of fun from this angle too. Wait, which angle do I like this from better? I kind of like it just being able to see the, I like it from this angle too, like with the bird in the middle. <laughs> bird bird flying through it. Um, no, that, that works too. That looks too. Yeah, everybody loves the textures on the bottoms of these because they look like pancake batter or um, something, or just flour being rolled out, or in this case, nice puffy clouds with all the swirls. I don't know which angle I like it from better. It looks more like a rainbow in the sky from this angle. I kind of like it. <laughs> that's great that was unintentional it works it works the bird i like the bird happy bird flying through there greek i I, kn I know i shouldn't ask this or request it um could you like group everything together and like turn it around so i can have like a picture of the sky i think i think i like it from this angle a little bit better for a screenshot if, it, if that's asking too much because here, here you have everything just kind of like, you have like muddy water in the background. It's not quite as magical that way. Just maybe a little, if you could, if you could. Anyway, I like I like it from this angle too, but it's all colorful. Ah, you're doing it already. <laughs> this is using, are you using the essential housing tools grouping or just the base game grouping? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Cute Greek. Oh, that's fun, that's fun. I, I kind of just met whenever, not like right now, but this works too. <laughs> happy, happy angle. Happy, happy bird butt angle. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll revisit this. It's a little too high. Anyway, I'll wrap up. Let me wrap up um, our for our VOD, and then we'll do big giveaways for Twitch chat, and then I'm going to go to some Merkmire stuff. Please take a screenshot in the nighttime. Oh, well, oh, that could be fun, too. It's really, like, twist, twist it down this way a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I've, oh no, I'm, I'm micro, I'm micromanaging, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, I think I will figure it out. Oh, that's kind of cool too, from this angle. Ah, it's fine, I'm gonna just, it's, it's cute. Anyway, anyway, let's wrap up for the VOD, and then we'll do giveaways and everything. So thank you everybody, so this is our thir 13 entries for our 2020, 2020 challenge. You, what could you do with 20 of one furnishing and 20 of a second furnishing? Well, you could do fun and creative things with it. So, Kirk Gemini did an amazing job with this. Using 20 salt lamps, 20 braziers. 
making something really fun. And other other people as well. So thank you so much, everybody. And we have more contests coming up in February. You can enter those. I do my regular housing hike each Friday. So you can follow my live streams at twitch.tv slash Ellis. Or if you've liked this and you want to keep watching more of these contests in the future, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for free at youtube.com slash Ellis. And fun stuff, fun stuff. It's free to do it on YouTube. Oh, no, you broke it. <laughs> so I hope this has been inspirational, kind of thinking creatively about how you are using furnishings. So have fun with housing, have fun with ESO, and stay spicy. Oh.